either. I'm honestly just kind of like looking for boundaries right now just to see if there's anything kind of off to the side that I've walked by. Doesn't seem like there's much. Seems like it's mostly fairly direct paths that you're supposed to go down. I'm actually kind of sad that I didn't play this or, or was as hyped for this when it came out as uh, I should have been. Like, I don't know what it was that I expected this game to be, but I, it didn't seem like it would be this to me for some reason. I figured it would be very melodramatic, like overly heavy-handed on the story or who knows, something like that. Seems like a nice balance so far. Plus it's just so goddamn beautiful, I can't really... I can't be mad at that face! Look at that! Freaking Anne Orlando all over again, the freaking radiant light of God coming over these hills. Thank you very, very much from, uh, for Anonymous donating $10. I was just notified of my acceptance to Stanford for my physics PhD, so here's some money. Holy crap, congratulations, Anonymous. That is very kind of you to do that, and seriously, that's awesome. Let's get some hype in chat, please, for uh, our anonymous donor. Some rock donkeys, if you will. I keep looking at the title, mistaking, mistakenly thinking that it's The Vanishing of Ethan Hawke. <laughs> Confused for that. It's something about the title, I think, is the biggest frustration I have. Like, I just keep thinking because of the title that it's going to be something else. Now, do I, do I really want to take this and figure this out right now? I kind of don't still. But maybe I should just pay a little bit more attention before I move on, just in case it's actually not as hard as I'm giving it credit for. Or not uh, as confusing or obfuscated as I'm giving it credit for. It's probably solvable. Am I just supposed to put it back in the order that it's in now, in this position? It means I have to actually remember the geometry, don't I? This is like a balcony facing the bridge. I just gotta make note of every door frame, I suppose. A uh, little wrecked room on the right side. I don't know why, but for some reason this is harder to remember than it should be. Because there's probably like no focal points, I guess, because everything's so screwed up. To the right is that little nook attic area. And so this is just upstairs, loops around once. Through here. I guess this is to kind of force you to look at the space and try and piece together what it should be. There's not really a lot of clues in here, are there? Bricks. There's like no furniture left or anything to give you an indication of what these places should be. Pro tip, it's not the same house. Oh. Well, I guess thank you for telling me that then. I don't think there's anything hint wise going on in that. Wait, so either door I go through takes me to the same room, is that correct? See the little lamp on the corner there, is that... I think that might be what's happening. Yeah, both doors take you to the same... Okay, so they want you to enter this from the same point. Why would I know what each room is supposed to be? Oh, maybe just from, like, the door frames and the entrances? Like, maybe they'll link up some way? That makes sense? Once I walk through them, though, I'm not sure I can move stuff around anymore. Oh, what? I can see the lamp. That lamp from there. Oh, that's weird. 
See, it's right there. So this is an upstairs room, obviously. So, like, this probably makes sense. I don't know how to know if this one's right. That seems like the most likely candidate of the three. Uh... I'd like to change this from the other side, but I guess it's not going to be an option for me. What is this? Is it the same room twice? Oh man, it's like a labyrinth now. This clearly isn't that large. Am I just supposed to remember? So I screwed that room up, and now it's just permanently broken. That's wrong. Both of those led to the same one. And now I'm out. If that is indeed the puzzle, I find that very frustrating. Um, where was the first... Oh yeah, I had to walk through this. Alright, so this is the one that I felt pretty comfortable with it. Wait, those are not the same rooms I had before. What? There was a long hallway one that I had here on the right side. That's not an option anymore. Alright, well this is the only one on the bottom floor. Uh, there's another of that lamp again. What about this? There's lamp in every- oh, wait. What if the lamp is, like, the secret indication of where I'm supposed to go? Look for the one that doesn't have the lamp? No. This sucks. Fun fact, this puzzle was the only part of the game John both liked. I mean, it's not this. We're upstairs, so it can't be that. It could be that. Yeah. Why could it be that, though? It's not that. It's not that. Can I go back? Wait, when you screw it up, does it put you in a place that is correct? no idea what I'm doing. See, that's the one I thought it was, but I didn't have that option the second time. They want me to just go through the wrong doors until I remember what the right ones are, as far as I can tell. So this is the steps down that I've seen from that way. And now I'm down. I only get two shots. Really? I, mean, I guess it's good that I'm exploring around in it a little bit more, but this feels like a never-ending maze, even though it's not at all. Are any of these just correct by default? God damn, it seems like there's infinite of these rooms. Apparently you can use tons of visual cues. It's just because it keeps changing, I guess, that I'm having such a hard time putting together the sections properly. Alright, where does this staircase actually occur? 
Steps up to the right. There's more steps. This building doesn't make any damn sense. Alright, so... Entrance, steps up, left kitchen, right, long way forward, steps up. Where would this be? We don't get to know. That's correct. Over here, kitchen. That's correct. Okay, now that I have a framework to start off of, maybe I can start getting some luckily and see about it from there. That's correct. Alright, so chair turned over on the right interior. Chair is there. Up the stair. It's not going to be the same one. Uh, feels like the house has gone far enough in this direction, right? But I'm going to go... No, that's not correct. This is off the kitchen. Oh, is that the original opening? Oh, that's the original hallway. Okay, so it's not that. It's that. Table, set. So now we're running out of other weird options, so maybe I'll start to get actually get it. Cool. So that the whole bottom floor is done now. So chair, yellow table, and we're good. Steps, chair, yellow table, and off the kitchen. Oh, right, there was nothing off the kitchen because that was an accident. I have no idea. Wrong! This is total trial and error bullshit. Um, well, it sounded like you were telling me that there's like another way to figure this out by going into a different house or something. I can't even see. Oh, there it is. Alright, so I'll only need, like, a few more tries, and then I should get this as long as I can remember. Oh my god, why would I do that? I knew I knew better than that. It's gotta be this one, right? Okay, so up the stairs to the left, we see another chair. This one's standing up. This corner's gotta, like, back around, right? So this one? No! I give them props for imagination on this puzzle, but I'm not a fan. Explain how you made your YouTube and Twitch profile icons are pretty neat. Thank you, they're just uh, my face with some colorful uh, mosaic over it. Nothing too wild. Uh, chair there. I don't think I figured out this one, right? Is it this? No! Where the F am I now? What? Oh, that was another perspective of that room? God damn it. Stop messing with my head. Alright. That leads to the four slat window. Does this... No, that doesn't make sense, right? I don't get it. Hang on. Oh. You can see the steps. I didn't realize it went up again, right? 
All right, so steps are good. This is this whole side. So four slot window, four slot window. Those connect each time. And then that comes back over to the stairs. Okay, I just gotta remember four slot window, four slot window. I'm just trying to get the impressions in my mind as I move around the corners. Hallway? I've seen that table already. Can't be down, so it's gotta be the hallway. Jesus Christ, how big is this house? Upstairs, is there more? Still another here. It's this. I know that one for a fact. So like, two more rooms, maybe? I think we're almost there. Um, right here. Let's see our options. Could this be it? Yes! Oh, thank fuck. Okay, wait. Why? What? Oh, I think I made it. I got to the end. What is that? It's like a dude's skin? That is creepy. Skull has no eyes carved out into it. It's like a s sculpture version. Oh, I'm glad that puzzle's over. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, Daddy, they told him. But the magician said, no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen, right, because he could see the future because of the potions he wouldn't give them. Uh, he had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Oh. Magician still in there? In there? You spying? No. No, huh? You spying? What the hell's wrong with you? What are you Jack? spying? Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. What are you selling? All oh, right, I'm real happy that we don't have to do that room puzzle shit anymore. <laughs> um, right, that's the one we just read. Oh, so this is the room that we're actually in. Maybe now this house will make sense again. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. Uh oh, by ja Daniel Josephson, Bayfield County. Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still com uh, comprised... Oh, the still comprised... I thought the still comprised, like as if we were saying it's still comprised. Uh, a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash based on the size of the still. Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Shaffle... Shaffle? Shaffle? believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted, quote, there could be other stills in the county. So this whole thing is just basically a moonshine operation. That's where Ethan Carter vanished to another country. is being hunted by the law. Maybe at a show on Discovery Channel or something. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine. Oh, that's an interesting... I didn't know they put flavors in moonshine. I thought it just tasted like rubbing alcohol or something. Not that I've ever had it, but... I don't know, I've watched that show, and it seems like they're pretty proud of it not tasting like anything except for rubbing alcohol. And one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Uh, apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. Because if you're trying to get blind drunk, are you really worried about what it tastes like? The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Okay. Got it. Pretty view, pretty view. Oh, that view, though. Okay, I think we're hopefully able to leave this house forever now.
820 blaze it moonshine. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there's an elevator down there that we never discovered if we could interact with in some way. So maybe there's like a puzzle leading up to that going down or something. I assume this is an elevator, right? Where is it leading to, anyway? Oh, you can't fall in, in case you're wondering. Can't see if there's something at the bottom of that. It's gotta be a lift, though. Pretty sure that's a lift. Yeah, the buttons are, like, dug out, too, so there's not even gonna be any pressing of buttons here. Maybe we gotta go find the button somewhere else. I wanna go down to that building and look at the water. Can we tell? Is that a thing I can interact with? I'm pretty sure we're gonna go down there, right? There's paths and trails and stuff. I want to say that that looks like an environment that we can actually interact with at some point. It looks like there's things leading in different directions, so... The puzzle was making it look like the inside of another house. I kind of figured that, because I kept seeing people say that kind of thing in chat. But I would rather have figured it out the annoying way, so I didn't really have to get myself spoiled, you know? Oh, I like this rock area. Oh, wait, I think I found this area before. I don't know why, but squared off, like, rock chunks with a big hole that like, can go inside just seems like the perfect place to make a cool fort. Some kind of, like, survivalist part of my brain kicks in. It's like, that could be really good if you put wood planks over it. You can make a house really easily. Like, am I really in need of a house right now, brain? We're just looking at structures. Where are we going now? Uh, so I've solved the mystery of the tomb. I've solved the mystery of the changing mansion. I've solved the mystery of the train car. What other mysteries await us? Well, the mystery of the cathedral, perhaps. And the mystery of the lamp. The oil lamp here that we've never really solved. I feel like this whole area, though, is like done, right? There's not really any more to talk about here. Unless is there something down here that I didn't notice before. I'm not going to touch the body again, by the way. No, I don't think so. I kind of wanted the wall to, like, disappear or something. Pretty sure that's not going to happen. Also, that oil just stays burning indefinitely, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I haven't solved the mystery of the vanishing of Ethan Carter. That's a good point. Oh, you didn't, like, the witch yell at me when I came down into this swampy area or whatever before. Uh... Are we going over there, or...? I don't know where I was going, really. I really don't know where I'm going ever when it comes to this game, or most things. Yeah, I did find that prior. Now we should find the cabin in the woods and do that spoiler thing at the end of that movie and go to that place and see what the game turns into then, because I think that would be a pretty interesting game. I'm telling you, Resident Evil 7, Cabin in the Woods 2.0, 13 Ghosts 2.0, The Wall Opposite of the Light, Nick? Is this game good? I think it's pretty cool. I'm kind of into it. Certainly not for everybody, I can imagine, because there's a lot of wandering aimlessly. So if you're not into, like, looking at nature stuff, you'll probably get frustrated by this pretty quickly. Are you going to play Darkest Dungeon? Uh, not tonight. I have played it, though. I did a stream with Ryan uh, for the last NLSS, and I ended up playing it for like another hour and a half after we finished. So, I'm kind of into it. I think I like this better than that, though. Certainly a bit of a different experience, though, so comparing them is really not fair. I love how the landscape just keeps leading back to this vantage point. It's so nice. Note to game developers, just make a giant, open, vast landscape and put me in it, and we're good. I don't really care what you do after that. Uh, music helps a lot, actually, though. So if you want to put some pretty music like this, I definitely would appreciate it. Do you guys see there's, like, a new patch for the Binding of Isaac Rebirth? I heard they, uh... They nerfed Krampus's head, so it takes 12 rooms now, and they've made Dark Bum completely useless. Uh, it never pays out in Spirit Hearts anymore, it only pays out in Spiders. 
Uh, and the spiders actually also explode, so you take a full heart of damage for even using Dark Bomb at all. Also, all the things I just said are not true. Uh, except for the fact that there is a patch for the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I think it's 3.15 if my memory is correct. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there. How the hell did I get back here? I'm starting to think we're in some kind of Matrix world. Satire is off the charts. I'd prefer to keep them on the charts. Uh, I, you know, you only get so much paper for charts, I'd rather not go through them that quickly. There's really not going to be anything in here ever, right? I just keep hoping. Also, I kind of like looking through this weird glass. It's kind of neat. Oh, look at how the sunlight comes through the door frame. Isn't that pretty? Nice. You shouldn't try to start rumors you know better. Yeah, well, sorry. Won't be the first or the last time I do that. Where am I going? Don't tell me, but... Bound to figure it out soon enough. Uh, what about... Somehow I got to the bottom of this hill, right? And then at the bottom of the hill there were the two gates... Not gates, but, um, train tunnel doors. So, why don't I head back down and to the left and see if there's anything more in that direction. If I can find my way down. Uh, the paths here are just a little bit odd. There we are. Can you imagine me streaming this and not having good internet? Oh, those were, those were absolutely the worst days of all time when I used to have that shit internet and everything I streamed looked like garbage. So embarrassed that those even those days even took place and occurred. You deserve better. How do I get all the way down? Just imagining if I was still streaming with awful internet and then we were playing this like you shouldn't even watch it if that's the case. Cause that sucked. You touch their bloodstain, Nick, now that person will never get their souls back. I'm sorry, whoever you are. The golden years, those were not golden years, those are the brown and yellow years. It's the worst years. Okay, I've gotten all the way back down. I want this building to go somewhere. I want there to be like a little underground passage that goes to some cool place. Some crystal caverns or something. There's no good crystal caverns in games anymore. It's the biggest problem with Dark Souls 2. I had no good crystal caverns. I really expected more. Uh, hey Nick, probably not sticking around for long since we're already well past my bedtime. It was a good choice for a game. I had a lot of fun. I was impressed even after finishing it. Alright, no problem. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And thank you to Corn Brony, of course, for the subscription. Let's get some hype in chat, please. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I know it's not your first time. Maybe not consecutively, but no harm done there. I don't think I walked all the way down this path, right? I think I went up to the left instead of straight there, or did this... I think this might have actually led to a rock face anyway. Rock face, no space. Yeah. That's about where we're at. Oh, there's actually a sealed tunnel over there, isn't there? Oh, maybe this is the mine shaft that the kid was trying to get to, huh? Mm-hmm. And how, boy howdy. So that's the 550 lock by Queer. Queer. How do I get a key to unlock this? I'm sure I'm going in there, right? It's probably a lot of a lot of beef jerky men if we were playing Dark Souls. This actually looks a little bit like the Force of the Giants on occasion. Uh, I want to watch this. Don't want to ruin the experience myself, so I plan on playing it. No problem. I, I fully understand that not everybody wants to spoil this game, and I don't think they should spoil this game. Uh, I would encourage them that if they have any interest in playing this in the future, probably don't watch, and that's okay. But I wanted to play through this for my own sake, and I want to share it for anybody that's interested. I subbed to Kate, Nick, and Ryan today, even donated to Indie Mouse. That's very kind of you. 
Put your donger in the lock. I can guarantee you that's not gonna help anyone. Um, 